This could be the moment the wind finally changes for residential energy. For years, homeowners have gazed at the spinning giants on distant hills, wondering if that same power could ever belong in their backyard. Wind, after all, doesn't send a monthly bill. But dreams of home-scale turbines have crashed into walls of cost, noise, and poor performance. Until now, a quiet revolution is brewing. Companies like Harmony Turbines and Aeromine are reimagining wind for rooftops and suburbs. Their designs are sleek, efficient, and built for real-world conditions. Could this finally be the iPhone moment for wind power? Let's find out. The problem with residential wind. Wind power might sound simple. Stick a turbine in your yard and generate electricity. But the reality is much messier. Unlike solar panels that sit flat on your roof and soak up sun without complaint, wind turbines need height, space, and consistency. You can't just plop one down anywhere and expect it to work. Most neighborhoods are filled with houses, fences, and trees that break up airflow, creating turbulence that reduces efficiency and damages the blades. That's why the U.S. government recommends at least an acre of open land for a home turbine. Most people don't have that kind of space. Even in places that do get wind, it might be too weak or too chaotic to matter. That's left wind energy in an awkward spot, full of promise, but hard to implement. And so, solar panels continued to dominate rooftops while wind stayed largely rural and industrial. But now, new designs are aiming to flip that script by working with the wind as it is, instead of demanding perfect conditions. And one company leading the charge is Harmony Turbines. Harmony Turbines and the Rise of Savonius. Harmony Turbines is turning heads for good reason. Instead of the usual horizontal axis wind turbines that need steady, high-speed wind and lots of space, Harmony is using a vertical axis design called a Savonius turbine. It's not new. It was invented over a century ago. But their approach is fresh. The turbine uses curved blades shaped like scoops that catch wind from any direction, even when it's slow or swirling. That's perfect for homes in suburbs or rural areas where wind isn't ideal. What sets Harmony apart is how the blades can adjust. When wind speeds increase, the scoops furl inward to control the spin rate, preventing damage while continuing to generate power. Most turbines shut off in high winds, but Harmony keeps going. They've partnered with universities like Penn State and Bucknell for real-world testing, even expanding to studies in the UK. And unlike many companies, Harmony shares updates openly, posting videos, development logs, and insights for anyone to follow. In a world where energy tech often stays hidden, Harmony is showing what innovation looks like in full view. Aeromine's silent revolution. Aeromine is taking a totally different approach to wind. Instead of spinning blades, their system uses airfoils, stationary structures that look more like airplane wings than turbines. These are placed on the edges of flat rooftops where they take advantage of a natural effect. Wind hitting a building's face gets funneled and accelerated. The airfoils create a low-pressure zone that draws in air, which is then directed into a small, enclosed turbine hidden inside the building. There's no noise, no moving parts outside, and no giant spinning blades, just clean, quiet power generation. It's designed to be compact, efficient, and perfect for commercial rooftops. Aeromine has already completed a year-long pilot on a BASF building and now they're rolling out more test sites in the US and Europe. Their long-term goal is to mass-produce units that can be easily installed on existing buildings. By using the natural wind behavior around architecture, Aeromine is proving that urban environments don't have to be wind power dead zones. Sometimes the smartest way forward is to stop fighting the wind and start using it differently. Why small wind has struggled until now. Residential wind power has faced some stubborn challenges. For starters, wind isn't as easy to work with as sunlight. Solar panels just sit on rooftops and collect energy quietly. Wind turbines, on the other hand, need the right conditions, open space, consistent airflow, and minimal turbulence. Most neighborhoods just don't offer that. Turbulence caused by nearby buildings and trees can make wind erratic, reducing efficiency and damaging equipment. 
On top of that, small turbines have had a reputation for being noisy, unreliable, and expensive. Many homeowners are simply unwilling to take the risk when solar has proven so simple and effective. Manufacturers have also hesitated to invest in better designs because demand has stayed low. It's a cycle of disinterest. People don't buy wind systems because they don't work well, and companies don't improve them because people aren't buying. But that's starting to shift. With energy prices rising and resilience becoming more valuable, homeowners are open to new ideas. If these next-generation wind solutions can deliver quiet, affordable, and reliable performance, small wind might finally get its second chance. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Rethinking wind, turning weakness into strength. What makes the latest wind startup so interesting is their willingness to rethink the entire problem. Instead of forcing wind to behave, they're designing systems that thrive in chaos. Harmony Turbines embraces turbulent, low-speed wind using its vertical Savonius design. It doesn't need to face a specific direction, and it doesn't shut off in high winds. When things get intense, the blades shift position to slow the spin, but keep generating power. That flexibility is a big advantage over traditional turbines, which often have to stop during gusts to avoid damage. Aeromine is taking a different path by turning the architecture of a building into a tool. Their airfoil system uses wind compression, something that usually hurts performance, to actually boost airflow into a hidden turbine. By flipping problems into features, these companies are rewriting the playbook. Instead of building mini versions of utility-scale turbines, they're building for homes, cities, and rooftops as they really are. It's this kind of practical, problem-solving mindset that could finally make residential wind power not just possible, but popular. The race for data and proof. Innovation is only half the battle. Proving it works is what really matters. Harmony Turbines understands that, which is why they've partnered with universities like Penn State and Bucknell. They're testing not just one turbine, but how multiple turbines behave together. Surprisingly, vertical turbines like theirs might perform better when grouped closely. That's a big difference from traditional turbines, which have to be spaced far apart. If Harmony's results hold up, it could mean more power generation in less space, perfect for rooftops or small yards. Over at Aeromine, they've already completed a full year of rooftop testing on a BASF building. Now they're rolling out more installations across the US and Europe. These real-world tests generate critical data, energy output, durability, cost, and noise levels. That's the kind of proof investors, regulators, and homeowners want to see. We're entering a phase where wind startups can't just make promises. They have to deliver numbers. The next year could be a turning point. If these systems show they work at scale, residential wind might finally step into the spotlight alongside solar. Market Potential and the Waiting Crowd The residential wind market is a sleeping giant. Millions of people want cleaner, more affordable energy, but they're cautious. Most small wind systems they've seen are either too noisy, too expensive, or just don't deliver. So they wait, not for ads or hype, but for something real. That's where Harmony and Aeromine come in. If these companies can create turbines that are quiet, compact, and efficient, the demand is already there. And they don't need to replace solar, just work with it. Wind tends to pick up when the sun goes down, making it a perfect partner for solar systems. This dual setup could finally give homeowners around-the-clock power, add rising utility costs and a growing desire for energy independence, and the timing couldn't be better. People want options. They want resilience. All they need is a solution that fits their space and works without fuss. And now, for the first time, the why might actually get it. What comes next for wind at home? The future of residential wind depends on what happens next. Harmony Turbines is refining its design and working closely with universities to validate every performance claim. Aeromine, after a successful rooftop pilot, is preparing to release a commercial version that could scale across cities. 
But the challenge now is no longer invention, it's execution. Can they make thousands of units at a price homeowners can justify? Can they install them easily? Will they last? These questions will shape the next chapter. If the answers are yes, small wind won't just become viable, it'll become desirable. For years, wind has been treated as impractical for everyday use. But today's innovations aren't about chasing ideal conditions. They're about adapting to real ones, turbulent air, tight spaces, and changing weather. This is wind's shot to finally go mainstream, not in the form of towering machines on distant hills, but as smart, quiet devices humming away on the homes we live in every day. This might be the closest we've ever come to making residential wind a reality. With innovations from companies like Harmony Turbines and Aeromine, the dream of generating clean energy from your backyard or rooftop is finally taking shape. The designs are smarter, the data is stronger, and the momentum is real. It won't happen overnight, but the winds of change are blowing. Whether you're in a rural home or on a city block, the future might sound a little like a quiet hum of wind doing work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.